So, I'm going to play a tune. Uh, when, I, when I started fiddling, I'd go to this, well, when I picked up a banjo in seventh grade, I'd go to this little kind of local music venue. I grew up on this place, in a place called Signal Mountain, which is just north of Chattanooga. And there was a, a weekly Mountain Opry thing, and there was an older fiddler, his name was Bob Douglas, he was born in 1900, he lived till 2001, and he died at 101, obviously, well, if you live that long, that's how old he died, right? Um, <laughs> anyway, he, he, uh, he, was playing, he was playing up until a couple months before he died, and each year he would have a birthday party at this venue just down the street from, well, down the road from where I grew up. And, uh, he had, he would play and he'd get this, he was, you know, he was an older guy at this point, and he would get a lean going when he'd play. <laughs> and you would think, you'd just watch him and he'd do this, and he never fell, but uh, <laughs> this is a tune that he played, he and his father made it up, it's called Sequatchie Valley, and it's a train tune, and just over on the other side of the mountain, there's a Sequatchie Valley, and there was a little train that ran up there called Little Billy, and this was the tune that... Tom, his father, and Bob Douglas came up with to uh, sort of tell the story of little Billy chugging up the valley. It also happens to be the name of the new CD that Luke and I have made. So, <laughs> I have some Luke for you. <laughs>
sweater off of the team. It's not the same. You're going to be throwing some belly body heat right at the <laughs> So, this is, we'll play another tune, tune from uh, kind of southeast Tennessee. And this is from a fiddler named Robert Allen Sisson, who uh, lived right kind of on the, the border of western North Carolina and north Georgia and Tennessee, where they all come together by the Okoe River. And he worked in um, copper mining and had a beautiful, he recorded kind of early in the 20s. He's one of the earlier guys who got recorded and has this incredibly archaic sounding fiddle style that just is very beautiful. And so this is a really common tune, but it's his version of it, and it's called Katie Hill. 